What is going on, everybody? This is Nick here at NJ's Bricks, and today I got to show you this massive Lego Star Wars collection that I purchased recently locally. This is a collection that spans all 25 years of Lego Star Wars from 1999 and The Phantom Menace to today. It has over 300 minifigures, over 60 different sets, and I'm going to show you all of the instruction booklets that came with this from oldest to newest to give you an idea of the breadth of this collection. There is a little bit of everything here for everyone from all the movies, stuff from The Clone Wars, uh, Rogue One, Solo, the sequels, the prequels, the OG trilogy, you name it, there's a little bit of it in here. It's a really awesome collection. Not every single one of the sets associated with these instructions books was included in the collection, but the majority of them were. Many of them are complete, and you will see me building a number of these sets on the channel. Here's a look at all the minifigures between the sets and the loose ones that came with this collection laid out on this table. There is a wide breadth of different types of minifigures here, like I said, from all 25 years of the history of LEGO Star Wars, which makes this a really awesome collection, especially as we head towards May the 4th and Star Wars Day. You can see there the infamous Thrawn and the Rebels minifigures. I wish I had Zeb in there, but... Unfortunately, no original ghost. That would have been awesome. You can see there's plenty of stormtroopers, clone troopers, first order troopers with this collection, old ones, new ones, all different kinds of prints, different variants of the clones. You see a Palpatine there, some Vaders in this collection. There really is just a little bit of everything. I was really excited to get my hands on this. You can see some resistance characters, some rebels, a lot of Jedi. Uh, some different creatures up there, Geonosians, Gamorians, really just a little bit of everything in this collection. So the way that I organized a collection of this size was first I got all those instruction booklets together and I started a spreadsheet from the lowest numbered set to the highest numbered set. And I went through BrickLink looking up each of these sets and which minifigures were included with those sets. And then I would go to my massive assortment of minifigures laid out on the table there and pick out the figures that matched up to the sets. For the figures that didn't match up with sets, I used the app Brick Monkey to identify the torsos from those sets, or actually I believe the app I can identify just entire minifigures now, uh, or all different kinds of parts. I think it used to be just torsos, but Brick Monkey, a great app where you can scan figs with your phone and it'll look them up for you and then you can click a link and take you right over to Brick Link. And you can see what they came from and whatnot. So I used that to identify any of the loose figures I had that did not match up to any of the sets that I had instruction booklets for. And then I was able to list those figures individually in my store and set the other ones aside for going through the collection and completing different sets and building some of them for the channel, listing some of them in my store, doing both. There's some really unique minifigures and sets included in this collection, and I'm really stoked to get so many different shorts and opportunity to build different sets. So you've seen the minifigures that is associated with this collection now. Let's go over to the bins and take a dive into the many different sets that came along with this collection, many of which I will be building here for the channel. So I've been through it a bit, but... This is all of the sets from this massive collection that I purchased. You can see first, we've got a couple of poly bags in here, Jurassic World. The first Guardian ship was there as well. Got some more minifigures here that were incomplete, some parts. See if I can put these guys together with other parts of my collection. These are some micro builds and a box full of weapons. Here that came with a lot of these minifigures. You can see a Han Carbonite figure there. Uh, in here is, there's a number of sets in this collection like you can see that were kind of built or partially built like this Venator here. And I bagged up some of them. You can see a Grievous here and uh, big parts of a Y-Wing, Raider, uh, ATST. There's a couple different versions of the A-Wings in here. That's a Skyhopper down there. Um, a lot of different stuff in here. Another ATST Pitroid buildable figure. There are two Slave Ones in here. One of them is the 20th anniversary edition, and I can't remember exactly the other one, but 
Um, I did inventory those into my list and then let's go ahead and move this big box. Now this is the meat and potatoes of this collection right here. There is a lot of sets. I have yet to go through them all before I list them in my store or, you know, build them on here. I'm going to have to go through and cross check the inventory of these sets against their parts list on Bricklink so that I know that everything is there so that A, I can build the set successfully if I want to do a video or if I sell it to a customer, they are pleased with the completeness of the build. But there is so much stuff here. There's A-Wings, there's, uh, you know, the, this, the Phantom. Yes, you saw the minifigures already. Sith Knight Speeder. There's a couple different versions of like Anakin's Jedi Starfighter. I believe this is like a bomber. There is an amazing amount of stuff in here. Uh, here's an old T6 shuttle, an older X-Wing, a couple different X-Wings here, Republic class Starfighter. I mean, most of this stuff came already bagged and labeled, which is really great. It makes it a lot easier for me on my end. That was part of the reason I liked this collection so much, but there's about 60 different sets in here. Krennic shuttles in there. Imperial Transport with a bunch of great minifigures is in there. Like, this was just really was an impressive collection. Of course, I spent, you know, a pretty penny to acquire it. But it's going to be worth it in the long run. A lot of work on my end, but a lot of great content for you guys too. So, yeah, there you have it. That is this massive Lego Star Wars collection I bought from all of the last 20 years of history of Lego Star Wars. And I hope you enjoyed it. You're going to see a lot of videos over the next month featuring a bunch of the stuff I purchased in this collection going all the way through and past May the 4th. Of course, Star Wars Day. So make sure you keep tuned into the channel if you want to see some of these older sets get built. You want to see a bunch of these minifigures as shorts. You're going to want to stick with the channel. Subscribe down below. Like this video if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.